Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, Eastridge. Just checking in here, wanted to say hey. I've got my um, my youth correspondent here. My assistant. My assistant, yes. All right, do you want to give any updates about how our, how our week's been going? Oh, the week's has been going pretty good. Yeah, we're almost done with kindergarten. Yep. Um, two and a half weeks, if you did not know that, and Monday, uh, May 11th, was my sister's birthday. She's turning four. She turned four. She turned four, and we got to celebrate a little bit today. Yep. Maybe you can even hear her in the hallway. Yeah. She's crazy. All right. Well, thanks, Reagan. No problem. All right. Well, um... I'm going to move on. So uh, I wanted to just check in. It's been a little while since I've been on here, and I wanted to share a little bit of encouragement, and I wanted to share a couple of my more recent favorite things. Um, but first, I want to bring you a scripture here from the book of Psalms. It's Psalms 55, 22. It's really nice having an assistant. Um, and it says this, it says, give your burden to the Lord and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. And um, I, uh, this is another one of those verses that I found when I did a keyword search for press on. And thematically, it just sort of came up, but it's been very helpful for me in the last couple of weeks, um, months, whatever, uh, to continually remember to give my burdens to the Lord. And, and also that assurance that... Um, He's not going to let me fall. He does not want me to fall. Um, and he has the power to make sure that I don't fall. So when I have days or hours that feel a little bit um, that I'm struggling, it, either in my responsibilities or in my inner world, um, it's really helpful to recall that scripture and to know that the Lord is He's not just rooting for me. He's actively working to help me um, achieve his will. So there you go. A little bit of encouragement. Psalm 55, 22. And I had two other little favorite things that I wanted to share with you. Um, one of them is that I have been, uh, I did a little deep dive into the world of YouTube. Oh, where did all my things go? And I don't know if you know, um, there's this person who belongs to our church who's a very gifted um, preacher and musician um, and now a professional podcaster. His name is Ben Desell. And he has put... Uh, some new stuff on YouTube. Uh, he's got four volumes. Of, these are songs that he's written called A Light in the Chapel, and it's on YouTube. And I don't even know if this would work if you guys can hear it. It's Ben and Dwayne. This is just Ben. Well, they have videos together and videos apart. Yeah, that's the podcast. This is Ben himself singing and playing the guitar. Yeah. And Christ singing the, songs that he wrote. Christ the Lord song. Some Christ the Lord songs. Anyway, go search YouTube for Ben to sell and you'll see, or Benjamin to sell, um, and you'll see his channel, and then you'll see this Light in the Chapel vol um, kind of series. It's got four volumes. I think that volume four just dropped a couple days ago. Ugh. Right? Am I right? Are you right? I'm right. No, I mean, I know I'm right. I'm assuming you're right. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to let you guys know about, you may have gotten it in the email blast, but we are, I'm excited because we're gonna launch this thing to honor, honor Eastridge heroes. And there's this link that you can nominate people that you know in, in your life or that you know that are part of the church at Eastridge that are just doing some great work right now that might not get a shout out normally. And um, so, you know, they can be nurses, firemen, teachers, um, just, you know, moms or dads that are really rocking it. It doesn't really matter. And it doesn't have to be this, like, amazing gesture. It's just something that, like, if they've ministered to you or loved on you um, in a special way, you can nominate them. So uh, there's a link that we'll attach to the bottom of this video. I'll also link Ben's um, YouTube channel in here. And these are just a couple of things that are helping me stay connected, keep my spirits up. Again, that scripture as a really great go-to source. Um, if I'm feeling a little bit discouraged and um, and it it's just always our prayer that um, that these videos would encourage you but also just like if you need um, to talk to somebody or if you've got questions always feel to read feel free to reach out um, you can email me you can email info to eastridgechurch.org you can email anyone you can email you can email anybody 
<laughs> but I'd prefer it if you emailed someone, you know, me or like, whoever, and and we'll and we'll be able to respond. And um, or yeah. you could talk to God. Never bad advice. Am I right? Okay. Well, that's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. Sorry, yeah.